Hey, what's up guys? Josh here from MobileTechVideos.com. Today with uh, how-to for installing the Adeo ROM, which is a fully deodexed uh, zip-aligned ROM from Design Gears for the Atrix 4G. Uh, today we'll be talking about how to install this onto your phone. And um, it's actually really simple. He's created an awesome script to do the most of this for you. So go to the description below the video, and I'm going to link you directly to the XTA developer's thread because I really want you to read a lot of the stuff in there as well so you can learn more about ODEX ROMs and uh, DODEX ROMs and, and what the differences are between both. Uh, basically a quick rundown is DODEX ROM runs applications directly from um, the source of the APK whereas an ODEX ROM actually preloads some of the application in the boot process to make things faster for booting but in the end um, it actually gets in the way of modifying applications and creating applications to run in unison with other applications or other uh, system changes. So the actually prefer, preferred method is to have a DODEX ROM that runs specifically from one spot. So anyways, go ahead and go to the XDA Developers link. You can download this from uh, DG's website. And uh, when you open it up, I'm using WinRAR to open this. It's a 7-zip file, so you use 7-zip or WinRAR or whatever your uh, preferred zip slash compressed package opener program is. Um, and anyways, I'm going to create a folder called DG Adeo and set it right there. It's an empty folder, and I'm just going to extract all of this to that folder. And this is going to take a sec, so allow it to fully extract everything, so that way we're not running any of this from within inside the package itself, because things don't always run correctly like that. So now we've got our DG underscore Adeo folder. We'll open it up. And uh, take a look at what's inside. We've got the installer, the ADB executable, as well as some DLLs, and uh, an install batch script. And inside the installer, you've got this uh, shell script here. Um, I'm not sure if you really need to. I opted to extract all of these files inside the installer. Uh, I, I extracted these, so that way it's all right there. You may not have to do that or not, I'm not sure, but I decided to extract those. So. Anyways, uh, once all that is taken care of, we can talk about what needs to be done on the phone side of things. Um, give me just one second, and I will catch up with you guys in just a moment on that. So go ahead and take care of the download and extraction, and I will go to the next step in just a moment. Okay, so once you've got everything downloaded, we can take a look at the phone to begin with. Uh, this particular phone has lots of applications. I have probably over 100 apps. And uh, just to show you that it won't make a difference, everything will stay the same. Um, so... Real quickly, a look at a little more elaboration on what I was talking about with ODEX files. Here's a backup of my system apps folder directly from AT&T. You can see that each application has an ODEX file that goes with it. So this is what I was talking about. The end result on our phone will be nothing but applications. There will be no ODEX files, hence DODEX. So anyways, to get your phone prepared and ready, click Settings button, Settings option. Uh, then we're going to go down and choose Applications. Development. Make sure USB debugging is turned on and checked with a green check. And from here, we can plug our phone in. Obviously, this is all assuming that you have the drivers that you need uh, for the phone. You can find those in the description below at my website. So plug the phone in and uh, preferably pull down, click USB connection. Make sure it says none. Uh, that way that we're not interfering running the USB storage drivers or anything like that. Set the phone aside. Make sure you have a plugged-in laptop with AC power and that your battery on your phone has at least 50%. Um, do not power down either the PC or the phone during this process or you'll end up with a potential boot loop or a soft or hard brick. And uh, you don't want to have to worry about getting out of that. So go back into the DG Adeo folder and click Install Bat. Double-click the folder, I mean the batch file. And I'm going to set this up right here, get my head out of the shot. And basically, it's going to completely do the rest for you. Okay, so we're going to time lapse this. During this time, don't really mess with your phone. Um, it's going to go ahead and do a ton of stuff. So preferably just, you know, chill out. Don't do anything with the phone itself. Uh, for tutorial purposes, I may show you a few things on my phone, but I really don't recommend that you do this on your phone. Uh, but using Root Explorer will cheat the system and kind of take a look at what's going on in the background and uh, notice 
things like that. So right now we're pushing all the files to the phone itself. So this is going to take a moment as it's probably, I think it's a little over 125 to 200 megs, somewhere in there. Um, so for speed sake, I'm going to time lapse this. So uh, basically just chill out, have some fun, and uh, wait for this process to finish. And we'll talk a little more when the next set of instructions occurs in the batch file. Okay, so now we can see that it's running the install script itself and that it's deleting an old backup from uh, the data folder. Uh, it's going to create a backup of the app and framework as well at this time. Let's go ahead and cheat a little bit and open up with Root Explorer and take a look at what we got going on. If we go to our SD card, uh, we can see that nothing has really happened yet. In a moment though, we'll see that we've got a, uh, a backup that's happened up here. If we go to our system, and app, we'll notice that uh, a lot of things have happened, a lot of Rodex files are gone from there. So some things are still going on for the framework in the applications. So uh, we'll allow those backups to finish. I believe that actually just finished and it's removing the old installer and it's copying the backup to the SD card. Let's take another look. I know, all we're doing is kind of just messing around here. Trying to make this wait process a little less boring. There it is, Adeo Backup, Tar GZ. Uh, that is the backup of our original system and apps. So now we're going to continue to wait a little bit. Let's see what we got in the system folder. During this time, the phone could become unresponsive. So that's why you really shouldn't be doing this at all. So basically, all of our ODEX files are gone now. So we're going to keep on hanging out. And uh, we'll time lapse this as well. This is removing the download cache, removing app ODEX files, copying the new apps to the system. This process will take a moment as well. Your phone's going to reboot any second now, not really any second, but you know, sometime in the next minute to a minute and a half, your phone's going to reboot. And this is the point where the phone could become unresponsive as it's removing the download cache, and there's a lot of file copying going on. You may even see something like this where something force closes. That actually happened to me uh, a few times, but don't even worry about it. Just let the phone keep doing its thing. You can click force close if you'd like, but I wouldn't mess with it. It's going to complete successfully. So just wait. Be patient, as it says in the script. Okay, so now we've got the rebooting uh, notification in the batch script. And we just had our phone go down. It's going to come back up. We see the red blinking LED light. Don't worry. It's going to reboot and you're going to see that for a moment. So we're going to set it aside and uh, we'll catch up with you guys in just a sec as the phone begins to reboot. Okay, so our phone is now coming back up. Uh, our red LED stopped blinking and uh, we're on the way back up. You can actually unplug your USB cable at this time. Obviously, if we press any key here, the script will exit. And uh, we'll review some changes and uh, take a look at an awesome new feature that comes with this particular ROM. So, let that boot up in a sec, and uh, we'll do a time lapse for you to get us booted up even quicker. Okay, so finally after that, what seems like forever wait, our Dalvik cache has rebuilt. That's actually what takes most of the time there. Uh, the Dalvik cache is a massive file. So once it rebuilds, the phone's back up. It may take a sec for the original unlock, but uh, everything should be back in its place. We'll review some changes and talk about an outstanding addition to this particular ROM. And um, I can't wait to show you that. A lot of us have been waiting on it. So anyways... I'm going to allow some of my widgets to load back up. Obviously, this is going to take a few seconds. And uh, I'll just patiently wait for that. So, everything is still in its place. I don't notice any changes there. You shouldn't see anything. 
all the applications are still there, no issues with that. So let's go ahead and take a look at Root Explorer. See what we have here. Obviously under System and App, we're going to see um, all of our apps with no ODEX files, as we used to see ODEX files like that. No more ODEX files. So there's really not much to show you here other than a new feature that is absolutely amazing. Check this out. Hold power button. Boom. We have a reboot option. And this is fantastic. How can something so small be so exciting? Well, I don't know why they don't put this on the phone to begin with, but a fantastic mod that a lot of us have been uh, raving about over in the uh, thread for this is now available with this DODEX version. He put this into the framework and uh, really helped us all out. So now we can reboot the phone. It's fantastic. Let's watch and marvel over this awesome new feature known as Reboot. But it's really, really cool and I'm really excited to see it. So phone is off without touching any power button. Boom. On its way back up. So that is the Adeo ROM uh, from DG. It's SIP aligned, DODEXT, awesomeness with a reboot option. And uh, this is going to allow for a lot of custom tweaks. Uh, one video I'll have up in a day or so will be the mod for the gingerbread keyboard, the one that's been specifically built uh, for this device without the tiny resolution. Um, and I'll be showing you guys that as well as it requires a DODEX system. So that is the Adeo ROM. Check us out at mobiletechvideos.com. Be sure to donate to DG for all the work that's gone into this. The script is outstanding and it makes life very, very simple. So thanks again and uh, if you're ready to try this out, good luck.